This is a Thursday morning here in Palmdale and we're assembling for the ribbon cutting of a recharge and uh, joint project between AVEC and the City of Palmdale and uh, the Palmdale Water District. And this is quite a big event. We have the senator here, the assemblyman here, uh, elected officials, and it'll be interesting to hear. And so if everyone gets to start taking their seats, we're going to get started shortly. Good morning, everyone, and I'd like to thank the mayor for ordering up some good weather today. I think by tomorrow it's going to be windy and cold, uh, so today's a perfect Palmdale day, and it's certainly a great day to announce this fantastic project. So welcome, and thanks for all of you attending. We have quite a group of people here uh, from the, the dignitaries uh, that have their certificates and everyone else that made the project happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's my last one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, go for it. Watch out. We're going to get you in G8. The door is open. Stand by. Let's, let's not make this a roast. This is about Amargosa. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've still got four days and eight hours left. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just over a year ago that we gathered on the hill uh, next to the aqueduct to break ground on one of the most important projects for the city of Palmdale, for the region, uh, and it had that amazing copper dam put in place and make this project to start this off and, and make this project a reality. So today we're celebrating the completion of the Upper Amargosa Creek Recharge Project. And this was a, a mammoth undertaking, really. Uh, it was a true collaboration of five agencies who shared a common vision and goal to store and preserve one of California's most precious resources, water. Those five agencies that came together for the common good are the State of California, Department of Water Resources, the Antelope Valley East Kern Water Agency, the Palmdale Water District, the County of Los Angeles, and the City of Palmdale. So many thanks to each organization and all of your staff for a job well done. And we brought this project in in 13 months. It was November of last year, that, uh, or November of uh, 17 that we stood up there. So really amazing. At this time, I'd like to thank our dignitaries that have joined us, uh, Senator Scott Wilk, Senator Tom Lackin, representing LA County Supervisor Catherine Barger, the chair of the board now, Chuck Bossman, Palmdale Mayor Steve Hoffbauer, Palmdale Council Member and PRWA Director Austin Bishop. And Count, our Mayor Pro Tem Loa is, is on his way. Uh, hopefully, he'll be able to join us in a few minutes. AVEC Board Member is Shelly Sarsaval here. Yay, yeah, yeah, anyway, for Shelly. AVEC General Manager Dwayne Chisholm. Vic Wynn, Department of Water Resources, Region Chief. <laughs> Palmdale Water District Director and Board President, Ben Stino. <laughs> Palmdale Water District Director, Robert Alvarado. It's Robert Jr. <laughs> Palmdale Water District Director, Gloria Dismay. Palmdale Water District Director and Palmdale Recycled Water Authority Board member Don Wilson. And Palmdale Water District Manager Dennis Lamoureux. If they're on my list.
Det står der. Also attending uh, this event are uh, ABEC uh, director uh, uh, Frank Donato. Uh, Keith Nice. All right, appreciate that help. Uh, and then Adam Ariki, LA County Waterworks. And Station Nima, our Paul Bill Fighting Fisher. Chair of the Paul Bill Fighting Fisher. So, again, thank you for taking the time to be with us. Uh, the Upper Amargosa Creek Recharge Project is a $17 million endeavor that provides two very important things to the community. One, and most critical, it recharges the groundwater basin beneath Palmdale, and two, it creates natural recreation space for residents. Now, I know a lot of residents think there's going to be a jet ski area and kayaking. Uh, it doesn't quite work that way. We want the water to go down. Uh, maybe it's some jet skiing over here later, but uh, this project is made to put water in the ground, and that's what it's doing. No duck blinds. No duck blinds, yeah, no duck blinds, no fishing. So here to give us the details are the mayor and our council members, so I'd first like to welcome to the podium Mayor Steve Hoffbauer. So uh, first of all, uh, all I have to say about this is this is one of the most impressive things uh, is how we were able to get all these agencies to work together. Um, that sort of precedent setting in this valley, everybody uh, over the years was always had their own little fiefdoms. Little and uh, we realized you, we get so much more done by working together uh, and uh, this is an example of that. Uh, this is, uh, was a complicated and tricky process, but by working together, we were able to get this done. Kudos to the staff and the leadership of these agencies, as well as uh, contractors, uh, Nicholas Construction and Bowie Contractors, uh, Construction Managers, ACOM and uh, SOMAS, who all came together. You guys here? Wait, show us who you are. They threw me out of here more than once while they were building this. So. so how this all works is that water's piped up there from the aqueduct. Uh, there's a pipe we went up there, as Jim mentioned, that coffer dam. There's a 48 inch pipe that comes down, a bunch of valves and all that kind of stuff. It comes into all these recharge ponds behind us. The water will percolate into the ground, into the aquifer beneath it at a rate of one and a half feet per day. This area is a natural recharge basin and is a perfect location for this project. I remember when we first studied this about 20 years ago, there were three areas that were identified here, Big Rock Creek and the base of the Tehachapis, and this was one of the best. So uh, it's amazing that we were able to get this in here. So it's a natural recharge basin. It's a perfect location for a project like this. Eventually, recycled water from the wastewater plant will be mixed in and piped into the recharge basins to further uh, feed the aquifer. Now, if Richard Lowell was here, he would say, <laughs> yeah, he would say, thank you, Mayor. <laughs> uh, so indeed, there's more to this project than just getting an aquifer recharge. Um, it, uh, as the city manager noted, there's a nature park element which makes this even more desirable. Cornerstone of, of the community nature park is 50 acres of habitat is being preserved in the hands with century old Joshua and juniper trees on site. So I got to address this. I had some neighbors up here asking me about it. We didn't dump those trees down here, okay? That's the brush and the trees that could not sustain being transplanted. Fish and game required those to be stockpiled over there to create a nature habitat. That's gonna be the corner to look to watch for all the creatures and stuff. And we've got seven years of monitoring that our folks are gonna be doing here to count all the different critters and things that are going on over there. So Frank, forget that duck blind, okay? It's not going, so. Um, so it's located on the north and south sides of Amargosa Creek. The uh, habitat will be accessed by paths lined with plants, identification placards, and interpretive storyboards. It'll give the community at large an accessible place to recreate, encourage citizens to conserve precious water resources. 
In addition to the habitat restoration that will take place along the trail system, there's going to be picnic areas located throughout the park. You saw some of those back over there? So there's some picnic tables and some, uh, I think George Jetson designed the, the covers over there, so they're kind of cool. Um, so this will invite people in the community to come in, sit down, relax, and enjoy the natural surroundings. Believe me, this project has not gone unnoticed. Now here to tell you a little bit more, Councilman Austin Bishop, I'm gonna come up here and wrap this up uh, from the council perspective. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Mayor. Well, yes, indeed, this project has caught the attention of many in the field of public works. In fact, just two days ago, the American Public Works Association of Southern California Chapter awarded the City of Palmdale 2019 Project of the Year Award in Drainage Water wastewater category for the Upper Amargosa Creek Recharge Project. That's a big deal. The project was noted for its number of unique features and challenges that incorporated innovative solutions regional, into the regional needs for water storage while bringing recreational components and environmental productions to enhance the quality of life for our local residents and our community. In closing, I have to say how proud we all are of this project and everyone who worked so hard to see this project come to fruition. I think the added benefit of integrating the nature and the trail system uh, shows how innovative the thinking can really transform our city and give it a new positive look and show that we can conserve water and, and really kind of be conservative and, and show that we can have a nice future for our, for our future for our kids how we conserve and how we treat our resources resources now are going to make a huge impact into the future because every day we use more and more resources and it's projects like this that are really going to make a difference for our kids um, this project really essentially by saving the water and creating the trails it's doubled its value and I really want to thank everyone for coming out today and all the agencies that came together to make this project a reality. So thank you guys very much. All right, now I'd like to invite State Senator Scott Wilk up for his remarks. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> Hometown boy, born and raised here. Geez, not feeling the love, man. That's horrible. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Anyway, just really happy to be here. I know when our constituents turn on the faucet, they expect clean water to come out, and they never think anything about it. They don't understand, you know, the planning, the engineering. Uh, the construction, everything that goes along with that. And what I'm really proud about the city of Palmdale and, and all the other agencies that have partnered on this is that we've been very proactive in terms of addressing our water needs. I mean, obviously we live in the desert, we have the challenges of climate change, and we've been incredibly proactive, which I'm really, really happy, happy about, because it, again, uh, improves our, our quality of life. And just ha happy, happy to be here again. Uh, Mayor, thank you for the weather. It's fantastic. Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. Of course, when I'm over in Victorville later today, I'm sure the Mayor of Victorville is going to claim credit for the great weather too. But I will, I'll, I won't let him know that it's all you. Anyway, uh, ha happy to be here. Happy to partner with you on, on, on all these projects. <coughs> this is a great day, and I'm looking forward to coming back and, and recreating with my grandson. So thank you. Yeah, I don't know why I have to look this up. <laughs> Assembly members, Tom Lackey. Thank you. I didn't even have to solicit it. <laughs> I said it. You weren't paying attention. <laughs> this is a great day. This is a great day for the Antelope Valley. Not just uh, Omdale, but the entire region. You got to know that uh, we've been talking about this project back when I was even a city council member, back in uh, closer to 2010 when we were actually testing the percolation of this particular region right here. This takes a long time to actually 
get to the point to where we are today. So this is a this should be a moment of celebration because folks, we live in the desert, right? And Southern California has water problems anyways, but especially when you're in the desert. And it's just so refreshing to see water storage actually getting a chance. Because there's a lot of talk at the state capitol. Uh, we had our uh, water bond and all these promises made about water storage. And there hasn't been near the delivery that we had hoped for. And so this is something to celebrate. And so very, very proud of this region to be a leader for the entire state. And maybe even the country for this kind of a project. And so very, very proud. I live less than a mile from here. And so I'm very, very proud to know that this is happening so close to my home. And the uh, fact is when I, when I do walk, I walk right past this place uh, on a routine basis. And so I see it all the time. So very, very thankful. And all the leaders, thank you for your participation. You, you know who you are, um, all the water agencies. And, and the partnership is so refreshing because I have been in leadership when that partnership was not possible. So very, very proud to see this kind of uh, partnership because we all benefit and that's an example of what needs to be really championed is partnership because my gosh, we're in a divided world now and we need to knock it off. So thank you for, for leading the way and thank you for this great project. All right, now I'd like to invite forward Vic Nguyen, California Department of Water Resources. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Good morning. As I, you know, sitting there and listening to the speakers before me, I realized that the talking points uh, are similar to what you guys have already said. But um, I'm honored to be here. Uh, my name is Vic Nguyen. I'm with the uh, California Department of Water Resources, uh, Chief of the Southern Region Office. Um, and you know we cover 11 counties in Southern California, from Santa Barbara all the way down the coast to uh, San Diego, and across to Imperial County, and all the way up north to Inyo and Mono counties, and a little horseshoe shape uh, in between, uh, connecting Mono and uh, also cross crossing to Kern and connecting with Santa Barbara counties. Um, the total area represents about 40% of the state's uh, geographic area, and there's about 24 million people, which represents about 60% of the state's population. Our office, we implement department uh, programs and policies at the local level, and these programs include groundwater management, uh, flood, uh, flood management, ecosystem restoration, such as in the Salton Sea, um, and integrated, integrated regional water management grants, such as for the project that we're here for today to commemorate. Uh, today's ribbon cutting ceremony for the Upper Arm of Creek Flood Recharge and Habitat Project is a great example of how strong partnerships come together to achieve multiple multi-benefit multi objectives such as uh, sustainable water management. Uh, local residents and water customers benefit from flood protection, increase in more sustainable management of water supplies, improve groundwater quality, enhance and protect the native habitat, increase recreational space, and improve educational opportunities. The decades worth of planning, funds, and investment and time that has been put into this project will ensure the water management needs in the southern portion of the Antelope Valley are met and help improve the reliability of the local groundwater supplies. Allergies. Uh, let me explain why this is important from the department's perspective, whose mission is basically to manage the water resources of the state of California and to do it in a sustainable manner. Uh, in the past decade, you know, California has seen both the most extensive drought period as well as the wettest period on record. You may recall that in not too long ago, in water year 2015, uh, the Sierra snowpack uh, measured in Tahoe was only 5% of normal. Uh, but not long after that, in water year 2017, we had record-breaking precipitation in parts of the state. And then this year, you know, it's been a very dry fall so far, and then over the past two weeks, we've got back to about 100% of normal, or a little bit more than that. So these two tales of extreme hydrology illustrate the volatility, unpredictability, and uncertainty of California's hydrology. And as water managers, there's nothing more important than, important than having uh, certainty in your water supplies you know, from a management and, management and, stand, and planning standpoint. So as you may know, South, Southern California, we get our water from three major sources, the State Water Project, which is you know, the source for this location, and the Colorado River Aqueduct, and then 
local development and local supplies, which includes desalinization, uh, water recycling, water transfers, uh, groundwater supplies, and so on. Um, I think uh, for a lot of Southern California regions, the goal is to increase your local supply so that you become less dependent on imported supplies. So by diversifying California's water supply portfolio, we increase our water supply reliability or resiliency, uh, which improves our ability to uh, withstand drought conditions. A major activity that the California Natural Resources Agency is undertaking right now is to implement the governor's April 2019 executive order on water resilience uh, to identify and uh, assess actions to ensure safe and resilient water supplies, flood protection, healthy waterways that meet the needs of California's communities, environment, and economy throughout the 21st century. Resilience portfolio and groundwater recharge, I'm sure, will be a you know big component of that. So groundwater is a critical buffer against the impacts of drought and climate change and plays a vital role in maintaining California's economic and environmental sustainability. The project includes the construction and enhancements of recharge facilities that you have heard about. Um, and the recharge components includes the construction of eight basins. In addition, the Armagosa project will reduce the flood risk in three ways. Protection from erosion damage, protection from nearby street flooding, and removal of public hazards. The key features of the project are the flood control improvements of the creek's watershed and the preservation of ephemeral dream habitats. So in, in closing, I want to say that uh, DWR's IRWM grant program is designed to encourage integrated regional strategies uh, for the management of water resources and to provide funding for programs and projects that support planning and implementation efforts, including those benefiting disadvantaged communities. Uh, efficient and effective integrated regional water management depends on collaborative partnerships that work together to address the state's various challenges, including aging infrastructure, climate change, and increasing population, which affects the demands. So if California is to bring sustainability to its water resources, we must work across jurisdictions and balance all uses and sources of water. It is only by sharing knowledge and experience that we can learn from our partners in the state, nation, and the world to make a uh, resilient and impactful change. Thank you. So imagine that, a project that not only stabilizes our water resources, but stabilizes relationships between all these agencies in the, in the AV. Um, and one of the things on this project, at the, at the federal level, they're looking at groundwater storage uh, pretty hard and trying to figure out how to do this federally. And so we've invited Feinstein's office to come down here and take a look at this is how it's done. And so this is a model for the future, not just in California, in our region, but nationally. So I'd like to invite up next uh, Director Vince Dino. testament to the incredible capabilities that we all have in the Antelope Valley when we pull our resources together to help ensure our valley's future water supply. For Palmdale Water District, this project will increase the groundwater supply to the district's existing wells, which will allow for a greater operational flexibility for our water delivery system. We expect that we will have a range of 1,600 to 2,300 acre feet of water per year from this recharge project. Also, there's a potential for using recycled water in this site in the future. Palmdale Recycled Water Authority Board Director, the idea of using recycled water is dear to my heart. I've lived in Palmdale for more than 26 years, and I am pleased to see our community will now have additional 60 plus acres of nat nature park, native habitat, open stream channel. Our community needs more recreational areas like this. I look forward to seeing it complete. The 
plants maturing and the families enjoying the area. On behalf of my fellow Palmdale Water Board members, Robert Alvarado, Don Wilson, Gloria Dismang, and Kathy McLaren, and the PWD staff, I'd like to thank California Department of Water Resources, the City of Palmdale, ABAC, LA County Water Works for being our partners. A special appreciation goes to Palmdale for taking the lead in having an outstanding team of Sac protection. Thank you. And now I'd like to invite up AVEC General Manager Dwayne Chisholm. Thank you very much. Um, uh, first off, on behalf of the uh, uh, directors of the Elmo Valley East Kern Water Agency, I want to thank the City of pa uh, Palmdale for spearheading this project uh, uh, with our partners, uh, Palmdale Water District, Waterworks 40, uh, uh, Department of Water Resources. We created a project that's going to benefit uh, residents of the Antelope, uh, Antelope Valley for generations to come. Uh, you know, water projects last a very, very long time, and uh, this is one of, going to be one of those projects that will last for, for generations. Uh, what it, and one of the, uh, uh, the one of the benefits of this co collaboration is we, we share the mutual benefits in diversifying our water supplies, uh, working uh, together to, uh, towards a common goal of increasing our regional supply re reliability and building resiliency in the overall system, ensuring that we make the best use of our state water and imported supplies, um, increasing uh, protection for nat natural disasters such as floods and earthquakes, and it provides the public a, a shared recreation space to keep our communities connected. Preserving wildlife, habitat, and natural resources to restore the ecosystem. And uh, uh, spurring innovation for planning for future projects, which will uh, focus on this uh, sustainable partnership. Uh, congratulations to all, and especially the city of Palmdale for their vision and uh, perseverance to get the job done. So, I'd like to invite up Mayor Pro Tem Richard Loa <laughs> to say a few words. Maybe this is the penalty, I'm not sure, but now he doesn't have a script, but if you'd like to say anything to Richard, we'd really appreciate it. <laughs> of all the mornings for a judge to be late, it had to be this morning, I swear, in Santa Clarita. But in any event, uh, I am here, I got here safe, but then when I got to the uh, off ramp northbound on the uh, for Pompeo Boulevard off the 14. It was shut down. So I had to come all the way around the mall. It's just one of those mornings. But anyway, that's different from what's happening here. What's happening here is a collaboration between various uh, entities and organizations and uh, departments. Um, and it results in something that's very positive and that is uh, for the benefit of the entire community. Not just Pompeo, but the region. And that's what we're trying to achieve in this new council. So, thank you, sir, and I thank you all for being here. Okay, so at this point, uh, we'd like to invite uh, the staff and uh, electeds that have certificates to present certificates. Um, I don't know who's gonna accept the certificates, let's just bring everybody up and... Let's just do one photo and get it all. Yeah. That's, Why should we go? Yeah, I'd like to bring up our project managers from Public Works. Chuck Efferman, Yeah, you're not going to get to hide. <laughs> So, presentation certificates. We're gonna talk. We're just gonna do the photo. We're just gonna come up and hand over to the, the photo. photo. <laughs> <laughs> Unless that way Chuck wants to that say way something. That people don't have to well, clap for me. Where's my whole? Where's my talk? Chuck, wait. We're gonna do this quick. Come on, quick. 
Concludes the presentation of certificates. <laughs> Keep this in mind for all of the next uh, <laughs> presentations. We've got we got the fodder for the paper. We're good. So at this point, I'd like to invite everyone for the ribbon cutting valve turning ceremony. Um, valve is over there. Please stay out of the mud. And um, good try. Those who wore heels, I'm sorry. <laughs> Unless you're going to send me your six three. Hold on, hold on. We're going to count three. Hold on, we're going to count three. Which way, Chuck? Which way, Chuck? Come this way. This is All right. Just reach in. All right, ready? We're going to count the three. We're going to cut. Wait, we're going to cut on three? Three, two, one. Cut. Three, two, one. Cut. Three, two, one. Cut. Now, now, everybody go to the fence, except for Steve, because he's going to turn on the water. The symbolic, and Bruce? Symbolic flooding. Yeah. You want to see the water, come on up to the fence. Watch out for the mud, don't walk where Vince did. Will I be able to get straight on? Yes. Oh, yeah, I'll get this. You want to walk where you want to get this? Well, they're going to watch for the water. That, that's not really, this is what I'm shooting. Yeah. We didn't rehearse this one. <laughs> Most people don't know. Okay. Good. So, 
you're going to retire in four days. What a great project to go out on. Yeah, this is really a swan song for me. We've been working on this for so many years, and this is really a highlight of my career of over 31 years in government. Uh -huh. To come out and see a project this important to the community, this important to the region, is just phenomenal. And the work that everybody put into this, all the multiple agencies that in the past had their issues and squabbles and so forth and came right. together and made this happen. And that's what shows, this shows what happens when everyone works together. Sure, and then everybody can benefit from a project like this for many, many years. The whole region benefits, and this is going to be for the next hundred years, will help provide stable water supply for the entire Antelope Valley. Uh-huh, good. Now give me your name and, and your title and agency. I'm Jim Pertie, city manager for the next, uh, well, until the 23rd. Of? Manager of? City manager of Palmdale. Okay. And I'm retiring. Okay. Uh, my last day will actually be December 23rd. And please spell your last name for my people so they... P-U-R-T-E-E. -E. Okay. They should know it, but just in case. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Keith, this project was uh, in the first iteration of the Integrated Regional Water Management Plan. I don't uh -huh. know if you remember when we first started it. Yeah. And that was 13 years ago. I never yeah. actually thought the project would ever happen. Really? And when it did, I was so excited about it. Uh -huh. uh, now, the Integrated Regional Water Management Plan, I, you know, everybody gives credit you know, to our leaders and politicians. The supervisor at the time was pushing it, supervisor partners were pushing us to do it so that we can take advantage of the allocation of funding from all this proposition that's oh, yeah. entitled to the Anlo Valley. Right. So we did, and this particular project is a multi uh, purpose use project. As yes. You know. A very small portion of it is the groundwater recharge project uh -huh. and uh, the partnership between the water agency kind of was imperative for it really to, to go on forward. Uh -huh. Director Dias, I was just thinking him, was very crucial in getting ABEC on board because yes. they were developing their own wa water banks. Right, right, right. Right. And then we did uh, participate, and obviously Columbia Water District participated. We wanted to take advantage of also the recycled water that will become available at one point soon. Sure. Yeah. So, to be honest with you, I feel so excited that. This project is done, and Palmdale Water District, the Palm, City of Palmdale, did an excellent job getting it done in a very short period of time and almost on budget. I mean, considering it's been 13 years, we would have, we expected that the cost will overrun a lot. But yeah. it did overrun, but not by not by much. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited to see this done. Uh, hopefully, we, you know, I was hoping you would get done before I retire. <laughs> yeah. But I'm excited to see that. And yeah. also, if you look at the entire water supply picture in Nano Valley, you know, with the groundwater management, yeah. uh, with the two banks that Avec developed, uh, with this water bank, right? The conservation that we're doing and the collaboration that is happening among all the agencies. Yes. It really is an exciting time for the valley, and I think the future of water supply is very bright. Sure. And uh, which we've never had before. Never had such before. huge cooperation. Exactly. I mean, exactly. Exactly. We came a long ways from lack of trust from when this integrated regional water management plan that when this project was in it. Yes. Prioritized as a high priority. Project. Sure. There was completely lack of trust. I don't know if you ever attended those meetings. Oh yes, yes, I remember those. Yeah, it was hard, hard sledding then. Right. Everybody was had their own agenda, their own right. competing to build up their stuff. And right. Or, 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 or so we thought. So we because thought. Honestly, but they're all good people. Yes, I honestly think everybody's uh, heart was in the right place. And yeah. But there was lack of trust. Uh -huh. And that's normal among human beings until I know you and yes. I know that you, you know. You, you have my best interest at heart. Right. And I think that's what we are. And you, you, you attend our water mess and you... Yes. Uh, I'm very proud of the process. and what Very. What Could have been terrible. Exactly. But exactly. it wasn't. Exactly. And the leadership, I think, is a tribute to the board. The board and also the constituents, too. They came to say, you know what, maybe this is needed. And, and, and it is yeah. needed. I mean, you know, to think about it, with Sigma, you know, I know you know what Sigma is, the yeah. Groundwater Sustainability yes. Act. Yeah. We would have had to go through this process anyways. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. I'm, you know, we have Sigma in Santa Clarita right now, and there are a bunch of Sigmas in the Central Valley. And people are pickering how much water should we cut, who should, how much everybody should be pumping, which is very much the same concept, managing the groundwater basin yes. in a friendly basis. Uh -huh. Sooner or later, that friendly basis is going to disintegrate, and the court is going to step in <laughs> and tell people what to do. So, uh -huh. so yeah. You know, I, I think I think I'm excited about uh, where we are to download uh -huh. the water supply. Well, you say you're getting ready to retire, but uh, you leave a great legacy uh, of water uh, cooperation in in the valley. I think. Well, I appreciate you saying that. I really. It, it makes me feel good because there are times where I question if we will ever cooperate. Uh, uh -huh. But hearing it from you, uh, it really excites me. Uh, I'm glad to hear. Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, it's, it's about doing the right thing to me. So. Uh huh. Well, congratulations on this project and your part in this project. And, yes, we are. And now you can go. Uh, Retire and go fishing. Wow, well, yeah. <laughs> not, not quite. I still have to raise my daughter, but yeah, three or four years probably. Uh -huh. That would be a good time to retire. Uh -huh. But it's exciting to see you. Yeah, really good. Well, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank For my areas. Sure. My, now, what's your what's your area of? My outlying areas are Acton, Amadulce, yeah. Lake Los Angeles. Good. And Rosemont. Got it. Okay. For the last 35 years. Outstanding. Yeah. Okay. What a great uh, project today, Mr. Mayor. Hi. How are you? Glad yeah. to be here. This is an amazing day. Uh, right now, we're putting 1,500 gallons of water per minute out into that basin out there. Yeah. And the, uh, this will fill up and it'll percolate down at about one and a half feet of water uh, per day. It'll percolate down into the uh, aquifer. The advantage to that for the entire Antelope Valley is going to be sustainable ground, groundwater. Yes. So for this entire area, we're going to have, we'll be able to take the highs and lows out when it's rainy, when it's dry, you're going to have this water that just keeps percolating in there, refilling that aquifer, and it'll be there for the day that it's not rainy. Well, and there are many days where it doesn't rain in the desert. There you go. Part of the thing that we experience out here is, is that with the uh, variability of water use yeah. is that state water project, if you don't use the water, they're gonna just start cutting it back and give it to somebody else. Yeah. So we have an allocation, we need to take that allocation so that we have that water later in the year Sure. When, and we're not, we're not over pumping or over drawing off the aqueduct where we can pull it from the water that we put in there to save. This is kind of like a battery for water. You're storing it, you yeah. use it when you need it. Uh huh. Well, congratulations. And uh, it's, I tell you, it's amazing with all the agencies to be able to get us all to work together on this thing. You couldn't have well, done this five years ago. Well, Today you were doing it. You, you hit the uh, magic button there because yeah. having reported many, many issues in the valley, uh, it all hasn't always been that way. It's you good. get more done working together than you do So much it. more done, so yeah. much more done. Well, thank yeah. you very much. Thanks for coming out here today and coming out here and have a picnic. Tell the kids <laughs> come out here, look at the interpretive signs and yeah. watch as all, the, as all the landscaping grows in. It'll be amazing. Well, good, thank you. Thank you. Well, Frank, what a great day for AVEC and Palmdale and everybody that cooperated in this. Yes, uh, this uh, new recharge basin that the um, group put together here in the Palmdale is going to be very uh, instrumental for all the way down to Edwards because Amargosa Creek runs all the way from Lake Elizabeth all the way to Edwards Air Force Base. So putting this water in these ponds will percolate in the ground and run to the underground stream that will give um, better um, water quality and also availability water for the wells that run through that system because the wells are already in place. Sure. So, yeah, so this has been in the plans, but the great thing about this this thing, it's really a very attractive uh, recharge basin. It's got a park, it's going to allow this park, and from what I understand from the city of Palmdale, this park is going to connect to the Ritter Ranch someday, mm -hmm. and if you go to the um, west side of 
Highland Road and Lake Elizabeth, yeah. you'll see all the new trails going in and the picnic benches and things like that that are leading to that direction. So yeah. it's a really great community uh, facility. And if you know, developers are taking advantage of it. You've got yeah. specific communities around the corner here right. building houses and some of these lucky people that are going to buy these homes are going to live in a very beautiful environment. Great for exercising, bike riding, and, um, and, and really the best use of taxpayers' money, that I, I believe, here in the Animal Valley. Sure, and uh, AVEC cooperating with every, all the other agencies is a great thing to see. You get a lot done. Yeah, AVAC, AVAC is a real team player. We've worked over the years, the board of directors. Now we work with Palmdale Water District. We have a joint use facility over there off of um, uh, Acton and uh, off Sierra Highway. We work with them on, the, on water and treatment, send it down to the Acton people. And we're all working together. Uh, LA County Water Works is another one as well. Um, the water districts, um, Palmdale Water District, have all come together and worked together. And uh, we're excited. And AVAC, you know, right now we're working on that billion dollar uh, recharge base on the west side of the valley, which That's is right. involved 1,500 acres, which what you see here in Palmdale, right here off Highland and Lake Elizabeth Road, it could be 20 times bigger over there, but it's going to bring in. We, by the way, we just signed the agreement with Metropolitan Water District. I reported that in our papers. There Absolutely. You, there you yeah. go. And that's going to signed bring, contract in hand. That means right. a lot. Yeah. Two. We were working off um, with the president Shelley Sorcebal and the team uh, for about five, six years to find come to tuition, and and that's going to bring in 270,000 acre feet of water to the Amlo Valley. So right. it's going to help the wells throughout the valley. Uh huh recharge the basin and yes. so forth yeah yes. yes good well thanks very much for your comments and uh i'm glad to see avec having a great day we appreciate you too thank thanks, you okay. bye-bye bye thank you for coming john oh my pleasure so we're here with mike shawatki he's the project manager for this project the armagosa project that everybody was talking about this morning and I want to ask him now, it's finally done, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, we have finished this project after uh, 10 years uh -huh. working on this project. 10 years? 10 years, yes, because we had to do deal with a lot of different agencies. Uh -huh. and finally, we got everybody's approval. Uh -huh. And then they were in on board. And then we started the project last year, November. Uh -huh. and uh, Coffer Dam in the aqueduct. I remember that, yes, we were out there at the aqueduct. That was. Yes. And then uh, we installed the pipe, we came down, we have the basins, now we are recharging the basins. Uh huh. And were there any uh, time when you thought, wow, why well, did I ever get involved in this? <laughs> no, we have been very lucky. First of all, all the agencies have helped us. Uh -huh. And due to the fact that I knew them, and yes. they, knew they wanted their, this project to be done faster. Therefore, they have been very cooperative and tried their best to help us to complete this project. Uh -huh. Without them, this project would not have happened. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you know, uh, as you know, when the agencies are involved, everybody has its own ideas. But we got together and we coordinate and then we compromise and then from there we finish the project. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now this was one of your first big projects after coming over to the Palmdale Engineering Group, right? That is correct. This yeah. is the biggest project that I have done when I came back last year to the city of Palmdale. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you yeah. very much, John. Yeah. You know, I'm very happy that uh, yeah, I'm doing something for the community. Uh -huh. As you know, people, after they retire, they go. The things they leave for the community is the things they do for the best of the uh -huh. community to use. Uh -huh. We have a nature park that people can use in yeah. Palmdale and from everywhere. Sure, and sure. And then we can recharge the water. We have this uh, water reliability for us is a fantastic issue because we don't need to worry about if there is a drought. Because after all, after we recharge everything, a lot of water in this basin, we can extract 90% of it and use it for the community. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And this will be 
for a hundred years, this will be Mike's project still. That is correct. <laughs> well, it's the city of Palmdale and all the partners project. I'm just one piece of the project. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But I, I'm very happy that I could finish. Well, keep smiling. I think smiling helps. Of course, always. <laughs> Thank you very much, yeah. John. Well, Dennis, uh, what does this project mean to the Palmdale Water District? What this will do is it'll give us a chance, another opportunity to put water in the ground. Yeah. Uh, to add to our groundwater rights here in the valley and, and give us a backup supply in drought. Does uh, Palmdale uh, feel a stress about water? Or, or do not, not often, but like the drought a few years ago, um, you know, we could have used some water resources that we weren't able to store in prior years. Yeah. So this will, this project will help us do that for future years. Uh huh. And how many acre feet of water does Palmdale use every year? Uh, our customers use roughly 16, 17,000 acre foot of water a year. Uh huh. And most of that is pumped or comes from the aqueduct? Uh, most of that comes from the aqueduct and we also get used groundwater and water from Little Rock Dam. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, bottom line is, this is really a plus. Uh, yeah, it certainly is. It allows us help for you. to make use of the aqueduct water when our customers aren't using that much. Yeah. So we can put it in the ground and save it for a future year. Uh-huh. And for growth too, I would imagine, for Palmdale. Uh, maybe this for growth, but mostly for reliability. Uh-huh, reliability. Well, thank you very much and for your part in it. Thank you. Congratulations. We people that live outside of the city uh, use AVEC water too. So AVEC is taking part of this and this will help the basin. Yeah, it'll help all of the water agencies yeah. involved here. Uh -huh. I'm here with uh, Richard Lowe, the Mayor Pro Tem for Palmdale. What a great project. It's uh, not only important as far as water reclamation and water resources go, and uh, those, all of those water connected kind of items, yeah. but it's, uh, it's going to be a wonderful facility for the uh, public to enjoy. Yeah. Uh, wildlife, walking trails. It's just a, a great item that uh, not just people from Palmdale, but across this area will enjoy for decades to come. Sure, sure, yeah. and Palmdale took the leadership on we this. Took the leadership on that. It's thing. It's something that's been in the works for a long time. Yes, but it's come to fruition, and you can see the results. Yes, I yeah. sure do. All right. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Thank you, sir. Yep. The Upper Armagosa Creek. The Upper Armagosa Creek project is a joint effort between Avec. Palmdale Water District, LA County, City of Palmdale, the state, Antelope Valley, East Kern Water Agency. And as you can see, it's spread out over a wide area here at the corner of Lake Elizabeth Road and 25th Street. This will all become holding ponds, wetland ponds for recharging and also an area for people to walk and enjoy uh, a wetlands area.